Hi and welcome to our channel. So you've been told crypto is perfect for concealing your identity when transacting. A lot of people think cryptocurrencies are inherently anonymous, but this is not entirely true. Most are rather pseudonymous. Take Bitcoin for example. One can track all transactions associated with an address. Bitcoin transactions are linked to a specific address, which makes up an identity of sorts, much like an IP address. However, there are multiple solutions for those seeking enhanced privacy. Monero, Dash and Zcash for instance. And today we are going to be breaking down the Zcash is a Bitcoin fork. As a result, it has the same total supply of coins, and each is made of a smaller unit called Zatoshis, in reference to Bitcoin Satoshis. Zcash's Genesis block was mined back in 2016, but there is no ICO or pre-mine. But let's first take a look at the people who created this coin and are maintaining its infrastructure. There is an officially registered entity developing Zcash, the Zero Coin Electric Coin Company. Zuko Wilcox is the creator of the coin and CEO of the company. He has 20 years of experience in cryptography and distributed ledgers. He's always been a fan of Bitcoin, but he wished for more discretion. Another prominent member of the Zcash team goes by the name of Matthew Green. He's a cryptographer and security technologist at the Johns Hopkins Information Security Institute. There are a number of other scientists from Berkeley and Tel Aviv University, but who are also important to mention are Vitalik Buterin of Ethereum, Gavin Anderson of Bitcoin Core, and Tezos founder Arthur Braidman. Zcash employs a cryptographic tool called ZK-SNARK, which stands for Zero Knowledge Succinct Non-Interactive Argument of Knowledge, aka Zero Knowledge Proof for short. It verifies transactions without giving away its participants or their public addresses and the amount being transferred. If you opt for it, that is, because there's an option to reveal all that data to whomever you see appropriate. And it keeps this data on the blockchain fully encrypted, which renders a transaction virtually intraceable. As a side note, the protocol was really developed in the 1980s by researchers of massive Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The hashing algorithm used by Zcash is a type of proof-of-work algorithm called Equihash, and it was introduced specifically for this cryptocurrency in 2016. It is memory-oriented, which is different with Bitcoin, and even though graphics cards are still a viable option for mining Zcash, numerous ASIC devices have emerged that eventually broke the whole purpose of integrating Equihash. One block generates within two and a half minutes, and 12 and a half Zcash coins are issued per one block. But here's something to take into account. 80% of that amount go to the miner, while the remaining 20 percent go to a special pool referred to as Founders Reward. It is shared between the investors, developers and the Zcash Foundation. This cryptocurrency isn't perfect, of course, and arguably not even the best among its counterparts, but there are a few upsides that we'd like to highlight. Number 1. Anonymity due to the blockchain only recording timestamps of transactions when users select to use all the privacy features to the fullest degree, and the level of transactions transparency is customizable. Number 2. Fungibility. Every single unit of the currency isn't marked, so you can determine if, where and when it's been used before. Some merchants will not accept Bitcoin that have been previously used for some illegal purposes. And finally, efficient mining relative to Bitcoin. Graphics cards do not consume as much energy as ASICs do if, again, you choose to go for the card option. And now let's touch upon some drawbacks of Zcash. Number 1. Speed. It takes 2.5 minutes to generate one block and 1 second to process 6 to 25 transactions. For comparison, Dash, another anonymous coin, can do so much better due to its instant send feature. Number 2. Its privacy-oriented technology needs to be tested by time. There was an occurrence last year that filled many Zcash fans would doubt about its reliability when paying on the dark web. We're talking about seizure of Alpha Bay by law enforcement agencies just days after the announcement it would accept Zcash. As a separate point, we'd like to bring up the price dynamics. The average rate in October 2018 was $116, which is a huge decline since the first day of the coin's existence, when it was worth over $4,200. On the bright side, it's become so popular now that you can purchase it on most of the top-rated marketplaces such as Binance, Bithumb, Bitrex, and Bitfinex. And what about future prospects of the coin? It's common knowledge that there are many legitimate reasons for private transactions. It's not all about illegal activities on the dark web. Think of a company that wants to safeguard its trade secrets, or a person who doesn't want to be judged for their shopping habits. And even though government agencies are eager to put more control on cryptocurrencies like Zcash, the demand for anonymity will certainly remain, because curbing privacy for no reason can be viewed as disrespect towards people's life and interests. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and join us now to stay updated on all of our upcoming videos. We roll them out daily, Monday through Friday, so stay tuned.